what is a woman? Oh boy. He wants to get in, they want they want to get into it right away. <laughs> wow. So I do believe in God and I believe that God created man and woman. And I know this is stepping on toes and just again, everyone has their own opinion. I'm not forcing mine on anyone. This is purely just what I believe. Does your God think that it's a sin to do OnlyFans? <laughs> Are you talking about we my can... God or our God? Well, what God, God do you believe in? Well, well, the God that I believe in thinks that that's a sin. Okay, I agree with that too. I don't think that God's like looking down at me and being like, oh, great job, Nala. That's the daddy I created right there. Um, so, but, you think, hmm? so you think that the God that you believe in knows that you're sinning and you're just doing it anyway? Yeah, but isn't that what sinners do? Uh, well, I, I mean, I guess, but it's not usually what religious people do. Religious people I didn't don't usually claim go, to be religious. But what is religious? Well, I don't Having, understand that. Well, isn't all sin religion is different than Christianity? Like, I mean, Christianity well, that's why I asked is a you, religion. I asked you what but having your a relationship God with God is different. Yeah, what's your God though? What is what's it? What's my God? Yeah. The Messiah, the only God. Yeah, who's that though? What's the nature of this God? The nature. Like, is it a Christian God? Yeah, yeah. Is it? It's the Christian God. It's not like the Buddha God. So or the anything. Christian God has a nature to him, right? And part of the nature is he that created you know. nature. Yeah, but also has a nature. You don't think mm -hmm. so? I mean, I feel like... It, I'm confused by the question. He has a nature of what? Of, of being God. Yes, so if his but nature, I just claim that he was God. Yeah, so, so if his nature what? is God, I'm just asking you, mm -hmm. you think that the God that you believe in knows that you're sinning, you just do it anyway. I do, but I feel like everyone's sinning. Are you not a sinner yourself? Do you yourself? know what the Faustian deal is? The Faustian deal, I don't. Yeah, Faustian Educate bargain. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Faust was a doctor who made a deal with the devil so that he'd have more stuff that he wanted. It was mm -hmm. all about him okay. and his ego and that type of thing. Uh, literally made. Would a you deal. rather me deny God? Literally yeah. made a deal with a demon. Well, you already are. That's I'm, not true. That's I mean, I also not true. It's true. I, mean, I just true. proclaimed his name. <laughs> no, just true. because of what I do does not mean I deny him as my God. Yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, so, so, if you so, believe so, what you're doing is okay, against hold him, on. then in a hold way. Hold on. So the original I question is, believe. hold on. The original question is, what is a woman? She's answered it. What about you? Oh, okay. I, unless you wanted to add anything, mm -hmm. but okay, right now. Okay, go ahead. Some later. Uh, I think a really shitty documentary by Matt Walsh. <laughs> well, okay, but I'm asking you the question: an What is a woman? It. Uh, it's a. Per it's kind of like porn. When you look at it, you know what it is, but it's hard to define. So you look at a woman, and you're like, "Yeah, hey, looks like a woman for the most part." What is a female? Is obviously like somebody with like XX chromosomes and blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, what is a woman? Is somebody who looks and presents as a woman. And I know a lot of people are like, oh no, it's biology. But let's be honest, no one checked my genitals or my chromosomes before calling me a woman on here. And I didn't check anybody else's chromosomes or genitals before calling them a woman. So it's how they look like, like their physical Present, appearance? Present, how they act. Their performance, yeah. Yeah, it's how they perform, basically. Okay. Um, I believe a woman is both a biological woman that identifies as a woman and a transgender and or a transgender woman that identifies as a woman. And I would like to comment on what you said about God made men and women. Mm -hmm. I think I saw a TikTok or you know, some quotes on TikToks a couple of times where it said God tre created transgenderism the same for the same ra reason that he created grapes but not what? wine. So that the same way that we create that grapes, but not wine. No. I was going to say, if we saw it on TikTok, it must be true. <laughs> must be true. Wait, no, but it must I'm not, I'm not, must let be let true. Let her finish her sentence. Yeah, I'm not even like laying down any facts or any biblical Okay, go ahead, go But ahead. he created grapes, but not wine. He created people that want to create something. So like we, it's so that we as humans can experience the act of creation is why transgenderism exists while, and it's not a sin. And you know, my opinion. Can I add something? But would it be a sin if you're kind of changing what God made? Is it a sin to dye your hair or to get well, a haircut? You're, you're or in the Old Testament, Testament maybe. maybe. It, you it, think it is. Would it, like, if, let's say, like, when God created man and woman, would it be against whatever your religion or God to basically say God made me this way and I, I'm changing what God made. Yeah, she's God talking about also it in nature made you change. Are you, in are you nature. religious by the way? I am religious. Are you Muslim? Yes. Okay. She's talking about a nature distinction. She's saying if you cut your hair that's not changing your nature. 
Is it not? You're no, literally it's not. changing you're still properties of yourself. Yeah, it's not anatomically. It's, it's not okay. Like, so wait, do you guys, guys believe? Do you guys, do you guys believe ahead. that? Um, what is it? Getting any type of surgery whatsoever? But those people are like sitting. Selective surgery is not changing your nature. Your, you are your literally, dick off or you're literally your, increasing your breast size or reducing it or but you're not physical appearance. If we took a cat, if we took a cat and we gave a cat breast implants, is it now not a cat? You're changing its nature. No, you're not changing its nature. It's still a cat. So you're saying cats naturally have breasts? No. You're talking about yeah, cats do have breasts. Guys, one at a time. One at a time. An, imp- an important question would be: So you take a cat and then you apply enough surgeries that it has a dog tail, dog ears, and then it starts barking all the time. Are you still going to call it a cat? Yes. That's the actual question yeah, yeah. that we're dealing with. Yeah, I'd call it. Now, a cat. some people that's would still cat. call it a cat, because right? I call it a mutant. The issue is that. The issue is that. The issue that we're running to is if you define gender as essentially the performance, right? If you separate gender and sex, although I would argue gender is obviously downstream of sex but if you treat them as separate <laughs> words then the question is why do we like if you're going to say gen- gender and sex are the same thing why do we have two words I what, mean, what's the purpose can of I add something well, well yeah. let's maybe let's go around the table to Could, give everybody an opportunity to answer the initial question what is a woman and then if you want to add any additional go ahead oh um, I mean what I was going to say is I just feel like with that argument like obviously not every person is going to um, what's it called agree with certain things or understand why people are trans for me i feel like the main core thing is is if we know that their life expectancies are in their like 26 27 28 because suicide and for me it's more of like whether or not you understand it it doesn't hard to it doesn't hard to respect somebody so hold people emotionally yeah. hostage what part I mean, of that is I, holding someone? Well, I don't think it's because if you say, I will remove myself from the equation if you don't do this thing I want, I, you're holding people emotionally I hostage. I mean, also, I feel like if you're not passing and someone accidentally calls you the wrong pronoun, like, yes, you're being, like, you shouldn't blow up on people for things like that. But if, like, you... If, if you're vindictively doing it, yeah. that's a different thing. Yeah, but you know isn't I mean? an emotional hostage taking to say, do this thing or else I'll hurt myself? No. I don't think any trans person is saying if you do well, not... Well, then why would the argument come up then no, but where she says no, there's def- the reason on. we there ought are, to do this is because these people could hurt themselves. Yeah, there are absolutely transgender people who are saying if you don't do this, I'm going to kill myself, right? And that's not... Can we avoid... Can we avoid... Like, I don't know. 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 I not agree or agree with something but then like if someone came up to you and like said like to you know like respect them or whatever i think that that should be respected but i also think like everyone has their own opinions and you believe in what you believe in but then if you're like purposely like attacking somebody for what they believe in then i think that's a little like okay like you shouldn't be doing that but then at the same time like everyone also believes in what they believe in but when it comes to like a woman and or when it comes to transgender and like pronouns like i saw this tiktok where it was like okay like if i told you oh well i i need to be called beautiful and um i need to be called smart and if you don't call me that then you're basically like you know you're wrong because it's like isn't it really the same thing or if like, they say that they'll hurt theory. themselves yeah. if you don't Maybe what's you a do cup that. i mean define for me a cup <coughs> or a sandwich what's a cup or a sandwich a cup what is a what is a sandwich you, something a, sandwich. a woman makes <laughs> that's a joke come on <laughs> but that means curry so is this, also I a sandwich, good sandwich so this is the chair <laughs> argument joke, right come on. it is the chair argument. yeah so you can never define completely what a chair no, is actually that's not what i'm trying to say at all i'm start trying to say that we tend to define things in functional ways mm. that's the way that we use language right so like when we go like into like what's a soup is a smoothie a soup it's in part a stupid fucking question because nobody cares yeah but what we do is we act like smoothies aren't really soup even though they kind of are in almost every single way, but they're not really, like nobody treats them like they're soup. So why we don't call smoothies soup. And so this is a way where I'm breaking out to like, I wouldn't say that a trans person is a female. I wouldn't really be willing to confer those medical terms to them. But when it comes to woman, it's necessarily evolved as a word of functionality. And so it's like, it's really weird if you have Megan Fox, but she has a dick for me to be like, oh, it's still a man. It's like, mm. I don't think, I think that that's less weird. So definitions also have definite ends. So they have support for what the definition is supposed to be. So we can look at words and then we can look at the words that support those words. Yeah. What's the like word the that supports the word yeah. of woman? It's female. It's not. It is, um, it's, it's always not. been. When has it no, never, when has it not been? Woman. Just one sec, so just one sec, just, just one sec. Okay. Fook's sake, forcing people to participate in others' mental illness oh. wrong and hurts everyone. It is literally an enemy action to encourage someone to live in delusion. Stop the lies, get some help. I mean, all right. There I you have like, it, Crid One. 
I'm like to go back to what we were talking about earlier, I do think the logic of, well, we're all sinners as a reason to sin doesn't really make too much sense because like to just to know you're going to continue yeah. sinning when you go and you confess or um, ask for forgiveness. When you're asking for forgiveness, like, is it asking for forgiveness or is it manipulation? If I tell yeah. you, I'm sorry, let's say, for a relationship example, I'm sorry I cheat on you, I'm not going to cheat on you again, and then cheat two days later. Were you exactly. ever truly sorry? Do you want, Did like, the liturgical yeah. answer? Like, Catholicism, like, for example, and, would say, no, you're not yeah. actually sorry. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like different religions and different sectors of Christianity might define it differently, but I feel like I grew up, I was, like, altar-serving, waited till marriage in high school, and for me, the moment where I kind of had to step away from it is, if this is true, and if I believe in a Christian God that could literally damn me to eternal fire for this, this is the most important thing in the world, so it's either I live by it, or I don't believe in it at all because it's kind of odd to believe in something like that and then cherry pick it. So did you just decide it. to not live by it? I, I mean, I could go into depth of what I believe. I don't, I feel like I couldn't trust the same uh, church that was sending out millions of dollars of hush money, touching kids, taking gospels out the Bible. Most Christians don't even know about Mary Magdalene. Like certain things aren't really talked about, which makes me feel like I don't trust the church as much as I, I do believe in God, but I wouldn't say I believe in a, uh, this one didn't trigger, God. but okay, a woman is a biological female who doesn't have the herp, herpes. <laughs> By that, I, the, he always met Jay Butler, he always talks about herpes. By that standard, there isn't any women in that room. Brian said, oh my God. <laughs> Brian said the best on a long enough timeline, all porn stars get herpes. Did I say that? Did you say that? Did I say that? You I should, might have. I might you have. You should said. yell at your viewers. Not paying attention. Not everyone here is porn stars. Mostly all porn period. stars get t tested and stuff like that. So, oh, so most porn stars are. Like, most porn, like porn panels, panels don't test for herpes. Like. Yeah, most that that is test. true. Then a lot of the like they don't test for uh, herpes. So. Or HPV. Well, so. The problem is herpes is also like silent most of the time. So yeah, like there's that one stat true. that said like 80% of people have like silent herpes. So like well, probably HSP if this guy's one, fucked with more than three HSP people, there's a good chance. You might have herpes, my guy. But I've also heard that that study is not being replicated well. So I would take okay. that with like a grain of salt. All right. Well, he's he happens to be a urologist. Isn't herpes so. also environmental? I mean, you, you get you it from your environment. Like, you like, you're like, like drinking from a cup. That's what I'm saying. But that's yeah. someone with an active breakout. Has anything breakout. to do with it? Is also are very different. Are you talking of animals? I just that's that's a crime. I just want to say. <laughs> what? You're talking about the environment. What are you? You're going <laughs> no, out no, in the no. forest. Like what are you doing? She means like right now we could. Environment doesn't just have to do with the forest. Have you been intimate with a coyote? No. Okay, because I don't practice maybe the, the, that's a reservoir for herpes is the coyote population in California. Do you know they've, much about I've that? I've never even seen a coyote. They've been hanging oh, out. There's so a lot of coyotes in the SFV. Could where the, a lot of them. Yeah. I just prefer men. No, they don't coyotes, have herpes. Brian? Coyote. Yeah. I don't know about coyote. Coyotes, coyotes, coyotes have coyotes. Coyotes. Well, yeah. um, coyotes yeah. that's let, that's I'll tell you. That was okay, so let's random. Move on. No, no, um, no. Here, going around the table, what is a woman? I think we were, I think you answered, correct? What about you? I don't really know how to answer that. It's okay. Honest. You can. It's okay. Uh, you believe a in woman it. is uh, someone who is feminine, oh. and um, that doesn't mean that you know. So but is a trans woman who's like looks like Megan Fox a woman? If no. Megan Fox has a dick, is she no. a woman? It, but she looks like a woman, and she's and that's super feminine. She's not a woman. Okay, so you don't but, think women uh, are people who but, have? Feminine. Well, that's what I was about to say, but I don't think. That's why I don't really she doesn't want to get answer canceled. that. She doesn't want to get canceled. You uh, want XX chromosomes and a vagina. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Except for hermaphrodites. You're not really sure about that. Well, I was going to actually ask if, let's say, like, going back to that, um, if Megan Fox had a dick, oh. would you allow her to compete in women's Sports. Do you want to open the trans sports conversation? Because it's super different than the like, a, de very, yeah, a definition. Yeah. Here, how about we get, okay. get went, around the table? Line. We can get to the sports, the sports <laughs> thing. We'll get around the table af just after Nash this. Nashu uh, donated two hundred dollars. Yeah, thank you, man. I'm sick of the argument that because there are two separate you, words, they must be different. What the diff between glad, happy, good? We all learned a word in elementary to describe this. Oh yeah, synonyms, idiot. Okay. Huh? That's really stupid. Okay. What What if definitionally, definition, geez, I can't say this word, def, can anybody Definition. Definitionally. Definition, thank you, thank you. English is my second language, so. That's okay. Um, coyote's your first, right? Coyote's your first! Yes. Damn. Wait, Nala, let's hear a little, okay, never mind. Konnichiwa, watashi no numai wa nala desu. That's not exactly what I was going for, but I liked it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, but I thought you were referring to the Japanese like last time. You're like, no, let's Could hear that. Did you there. think I spoke coyote or some shit? I but, never but what, if, what if definitionally <laughs> a cohort of people think that or believe that the word woman 
refers to a female, and the word sure. man refer, refers to males. Yeah. I mean, this is the issue with definition arguments. It's right. like the way that societies come to definitions is super different. This is why when people like, etymologically, it doesn't mean that. Nobody fucking cares, because that's not how we treat words, unless they're like clinical medical words, and we got rid of all of these words from being clinical medical for the most part. So if society as a group decides that a woman is a woman with two X chromosomes exclusively, then everyone's going to function like that way. The problem is that it's still not very functional in a society society if you've got Megan Fox walking around hiding her dick super well because you're definitely not testing for people's vaginas and X chromosomes when you're just looking around. Yeah, this is why yeah. gender's more of a performance and sex is a medical No, term. it is It is actually oh, useful. That is true. So here's the truth. The truth is, is that society didn't have any problems with this. Society's never had any problems with this. Nobody was ever confused about who was a man and who was a woman ever. It never came up. Ever. It this never came up. Yeah, this it is true. So Don't come up. Did I just let you talk the whole time? I didn't say anything. Just let him talk. So look. We really didn't have this problem. It was not a problem. You go back and read books in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. They're not talking about this. You read books from the 1800s. Not talking, they don't care. Okay? It was not a problem inside of society. To know who was a female and who was a male, never been a problem. What has happened is special interest groups have moved in to the social sciences and have begun to fund studies and have begun to push an agenda <laughs> in order to make this <laughs> definition now get pushed out into the ethos and like Kyla, mm. or, sorry, okay. uh, like not so erudite just said, works. right? What happens is in the sociological fields, they've already begun changing all of the definitions there, trying to get it to get changed out into the ethos into the commons. But you know what? We really shouldn't have done that. And they don't have the authority to do, make that choice for other people. So I would, you and I could probably circle jerk about how shit sociology is all day. Cause I, Hold on. Modest Tikima donated $200. Why do trans women mark female on government forms? There was a turning point recently where gender and biology combined again. Stop acting like I need to partake in and confirm people's fetishes, SMH. Yeah, that's the other thing is autogynephilia and how many of the, yep. um, you know, M to Fs suffer from autogynephilia. Yeah. It's definitely a fetish. And there's a really big issue when you look at F to Ms as far as like, comorbidities of like kind of canary disorders that we would call in the early adolescence, mm -hmm. right? So when you list criticisms, I'm not so partisan that I wouldn't just grant you all those criticisms. The issue for me when we're talking about definitions is A, it's a boring conversation to me, and B, the history that you gave isn't quite correct. For example, Wifeman etymologically just comes from talking about like the other partner who wasn't the man, like it was just wife men. These also got lots of cultures, for example, that have something like the Fafafine. The Fafafine is a third gender that exists in a Samoan culture. It's existed for a couple <coughs> of hundred of years. And I, I would agree mm -hmm. if you're like, well, that's a case, different example. The problem is that there is history and dialogue about gender dynamics to some degree. It's just the issue is like they didn't have the language yeah. that we have now when they talk about it. They had the language in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s to say, hey, hey well, Bill, Bill over there, he's not just wearing a wig. Right? He's a woman. They well, had the language to do that. Of I course also they feel did. Like they were also very surprised. Uh, Butler donated $200. Since condoms do not protect from genital <laughs> herpes and 60 bodies <laughs> equals suck. exposure to 12 infected partners, I can promise oh, Nala is a threat to everyone oh. in this room. Abdul, get the rocks. <gasps> we found patient zero. Oh my god. <laughs> but my other, kind of my other thing is mm -hmm. if you look at what gender is supposed to represent, it has two ends of an extreme. So the two ends of the extreme have to be male and female or gender can't actually mean anything. It can't because a word has to refer to something outside of the word itself. It has to refer to something outside of the word itself or it's regressive. It's a regressive definition. So yeah. if you have male on this side and female on this side, the gender is referring to the biology. It actually has to be I referring agree. to the biology. I've already granted you that gender is downstream biology, but just because two synonyms overlap, it doesn't make them the same word. You're, this is why the one person that messaged him was like, joy, good, blah, are all the same word. I'm just like, holy shit, I'm really worried about your vocab score. We do have a whole bunch of synonyms, but when you actually look into what the words mean, this is why it's really frustrating when somebody says like, maybe joy and happiness. They're synonyms, they're kind of similar, and they overlap a ton, and maybe the beginning and ends of joy are all encapsulated within happiness. But most people treat joy like a separate word than happiness. This is how we engage with these words. Okay, so let's, let's just grant that this is true, sure. okay? Let's say if I look at a trans woman and say that's a guy with a wig and you say 
No, it's not, right? It's how, super depend to me. Right, how am I wrong? Uh, I guess it would depend. Is the person passing? Let's just say that they are, but I know. Like it's Megan Fox? Yeah, let's just say that I know. Why am I still wrong, though, to say that? Why would that be wrong? I would say you're being insensitive. Yeah, right, but it's not wrong. I would disagree with you. I'd say that she's a woman, but at the end of the day, I recognize that you probably won't be defining right. women the way that I am. Right. So, mm-hmm. which is talking, why this conversation is. Yeah. So, when we're talking about definitions here, right? Then, definitionally, if I say that, I'm not wrong. Now, if I'm, is, if I'm moving back towards you, I think that I have a better case to make for why you are, because I think that when we're talking about biology, uh, right, of male and female, that what I'm saying is far more accurate than what you're saying. I would actually say the opposite. I would say something like sex is going to be deeply less functional and less accurate because there's, as you probably know, all of those extreme outliers that don't fall well into the sex categories. This is why sex is a bimodal function. Gender, I think, actually works really well because it explains the function and how we interact with each other. If I see somebody walk around with hairy legs, clearly a dick under the dress, and like a beard growing, I'm going to agree with you being like, I probably would respect me. Like, I understand what they're trying to perform towards, but I would agree with you that you might label them a man. I don't understand the, the sex is a bimodal function. How that even even if that's true, how would that even play in here? The reason why it would play in is because you're saying sex is a more accurate word. And I'm saying the problem with all of these words is that none of them are hyper accurate. When you talk about a hermaphrodite or people that are born with the X rise chromosomes, but their testes don't drop, they're born with vaginas, they look like women in every single way, but they're functionally men. Well, because we don't interact with part of the right, population. They're pretty accurate. Like, that's, that's they're the thing. pretty accurate. Like for instance, it's so accurate, in fact, that any any farm animal that's born, you can essentially just take one peek and you know. Same thing with human children. Not true of cats. But sure. Same thing with, yeah. with, with, with human after, children. After Andrew, go ahead, pick some yeah. if you want to respond. The problem is that your definition is not actually reflecting how you're using it in reality. You didn't check anybody's genitals in here. You didn't check their chromosomes. You're making assumptions on their appearance. Because we have to make assumptions in order to use words. Exactly. What does that have to do with anything? Exactly. One, just, just one second, then we'll come back. In. That's not a reflection is, to reality. Will a straight though. man never be attracted to a trans woman? Probably not. But I guess you never know. I mean, why true. do they make so true. much money in what? porn? That's the thing. No man is Our words have to reflect reality. Men. Otherwise, one they're meaningless. Time, one time. And the way... Guys, wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. Guys. Hold on, guys. Just one at a time, really quick. Um, thank you, St. Reezy. Uh, we'll... I have a question related to that that I'll get into in just a sec. Let me do one chat before it falls off, and then I'll have you come come in, Pixie. We had a big pop of karma. Brian, I'm back with a link because it's a sin to lie. This is a public on YouTube, so it's a completely fair game. So let's be men and see who's a liar. Um, unfortunately, my friend, you sent me an, uh, a video that's an hour and 30 minutes long <laughs> that's called Occult Roots of Feminism with Based Homeschool Mom, a.k.a. Rachel Wilson. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, my dear friend, I'm not going to be able to play this hour and 30 minute long video but um uh i looked at i mentioned the title so go ahead pixie go ahead so the point is our words have to reflect how we actually use them in reality otherwise they're meaningless otherwise i can call you know you a chair or something like that right they have to have some reflection on our day-to-day usage so you can say like oh no like technically like you know the appearance it doesn't really matter but it does matter because that is how we use the word functional definitions is what matters a function of how we so use let's the assume, word. so let's assume that we grant this for a second let me ask you a question is a male who identifies himself as a woman who doesn't meet any of the criteria for what you would consider presentation even though they're trying really hard is that still a woman i would say societally they fail to present as okay a woman. but would you still call them one um personally i would be respectful towards them but i would say like but hey you, you're but not it, but it presenting but wait why would you do woman. that it doesn't match up with the reality what because you can be respectful towards someone right but still be like hey you know just telling you like there is a non-consensual or not you're not meeting the basis for a reality requirement so what you're showing me here essentially is that you will use the word that doesn't meet up with the expectation of reality uh, in order to we do not this be, the time. in order to not be a little bit uh, overtly sensitive towards that person. Right. However, if right. I'm using the word which is more descriptive towards that reality, what am I doing wrong? I, I have a question. No, answer you mine call, and then no, ask no, yours. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to answer yours through this. Basically, you're going to answer mine by yes, asking me absolutely. a question. You'll see you're going to answer second. my question by asking uh, me a no, question. No, you'll see. Just be patient. Mm-hmm. Um, you have called me Pixie, right? But that is not my governmental or my real name, right? That is my streaming name. Mm-hmm. Yet what? you still call me by that name, right? So even though that name isn't what is happening in reality, you still refer me to as such. Is, is, pseudonym seems a bit different to me than 
the conversation the, the we're issue having. with this is that what we're doing is we're what often happens wait did you have a did right. you want to answer andrew's question well yeah the point that i was trying to get to okay. at and the basis we'll, of we'll this yeah. is that there are multiple scenarios in day-to-day -day life where something doesn't line up exactly with how reality is but because we're social creatures and we understand that there's nuance and not everything is black and white we give certain like leverages or leniences towards it so it's not super out there to be like hey you know what like you know, it's okay to call someone Pixie, even though that's not their governmental legal name. And it's okay to say like, hey, you know, um, I'm gonna call her Stephanie because she likes that name more, you know? Yeah, until this is applied in reality like you're talking about. So I can call you Pixie, for instance, but if you were to go in and have tests done on you by the government, for instance, can you identify yourself as Pixie? What do you mean? Do, do you, or can you write Pixie and then your last name or do you have to write your first and last name issued to you by the government? Do you have to check if you're male and female? Yeah, I'm not, right? dis I'm not disagreeing with that. Yeah, when so did that my, ever come so to my question becomes when it comes to use, I don't even understand what your point is. Well, because there's a difference between institutional uses and interpersonal uses and political uses. This <coughs> is obvious, right? So a big problem that happens in all these discussions is we talk about like macro, which is like ideology. So you would say, I disagree. You probably think, trans ideology is super harmful you disagree with all that i'm assuming mm -hmm. correct me if that's I'm wrong. true this is an ideological perspective and then you go well kyla you have this ideological perspective interpersonally though would you respect somebody who you don't think is passing it's like yeah of course just like when your wife asks like if something makes her look too fat you're like i'm going to be really cautious in the way that i talk about this or if your wife asks like do you think i'm still not your wife specifically mm -hmm. obviously yeah, no. i'm not making a personal attack um but if like somebody's wife is like do i still look beautiful and she's like you know she doesn't look like she did in her 20s you kind of lie a little bit Interpersonally, you do a lot of things that are polite, but obviously at an institutional level, these are also different, right? Acting like all these things must be treated equally is a dishonest way in the way that words are used because words are deeply generative and dynamic. Unfortunately, when we get into things like legislation, how we govern the world, sure. and yeah. how people actually identify or deal with these things in real time, yep. there's a huge amount of resentment which is built up over the fact that we're expected to lie about things we know aren't true. Just yeah. one sec. If T women are women, why do they all get offended when being treated by men like a woman? Why are a large portion somehow lesbian? If I call a trans woman sweetheart, they ride rage. Facts of life. <laughs> it's man. Um, which actually, okay. he, this brings up a great point, which is if it just comes down to identification, it can't just, it can't. Because this would create all kinds of issues. Like, for instance, if you were sleeping with someone and they identified as the opposite sex, why you were sleeping with them and really meant it, would that make you a homosexual? That doesn't, like that kind of stuff makes no sense on its face. The self ID claims are absurd. I'm not using the, self ID. Okay, but okay. you kind of are. We're definitely and definitionally not, and this is why so many trans people <laughs> so, hate so let's, Just to be let's clear, find I out. am not hang using on, hang self ID. If it's, not, if it's not self ID, right, mm -hmm. then how would you know to identify them as that? You're saying in the, cases, in the cases where you can't tell. You pretty much always can tell unless somebody is like rejecting the binary in and of itself. So a non-binary, for example, I'm gonna get in a lot of water. I don't think most non-binary people are trans. I reject that. I don't think they are mm -hmm. because I don't think self D is valid. Most non-binary people, you'll go look at them and you're like, some of them you can tell. And some of them, let's be honest, everyone's had like this super like kind of like bull lesbian come in with a short haircut, super stout, and been like, is that a man? Is that a trans man? And it's not. It's just a woman. Because most of the ways that we evaluate each other is on the performance. So, so if they're attempting to pass, if their performance is an attempt of, mm -hmm. I more or less know what they're going for. Interpersonally, I would respect that. Always. Try to each make your final points on this if you if cool. you can. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Andy and my amg donated $200. Fantastic debate. Thankfully, we all are green. Arla is a woman and she's fantastic. <laughs> Would one of the females make the hangry lesbian a bowl of ramen and keep it moving? Oh my God. Thursday night football is on. Thank Actually, you, we, we can, we can yeah, linger, we can linger on this topic a little longer, but I do want, I, I don't think we got to your relationship status and you didn't answer the what is a woman <laughs> question. So very quickly, what is your re current relationship status? I'm single, but I'm single. looking. So oh, oh. You, or she did you answer the relationship like, status no. thing? Uh, um, longest relationship? Three and a half years. How long have you been single? About three months. Three three months. Okay. I was single when I came on last time, and I'm single now. So. I see. Okay, gotcha. And then, uh, what is a woman? An adult female. I learned last adult, time. Adult yeah. human female. Ad adult okay. human female. I see. Okay. Um, if you guys want to continue, feel free. So anyway, the the ultimate point here is this. Sure. If I say woman and I mean adult female, right? And from the Christian perspective and most religious perspectives, in fact, at least Abrahamic religion, are gonna agree with this, right? They're right. gonna say, nope, 
You're not this thing that you're not. We're not going to call you that. Obviously, it does us harm if we're compelled to do that, right? That's what is causing us harm, whether you like it or not. So why should we, A, be compelled to do that? I'm not saying you Okay, I'm not saying that you are. And B, why is it that even if we were compelled, we shouldn't resist by not doing it on purpose at that point, just to kind of make a political statement and a social statement of like, nope, we're not going to conform to you kind of beating down our religious values here. And when it comes to uh, your purposes, when you're talking about the T question, you're still kind of making the, the statement that I'm not sure they can kind of be, they nope. can kind of not be. Nope. So I'd like you Absolutely to clarify not. that for me. Sure. So first of all, I've never argued for compelled speech. I ever think it's a violation of um, first rights amendments, I guess, in America is what it's called. I don't believe in compelled speech. I think at the end of the day, you also have consequences for your free speech. So if you choose to call somebody who is clearly trying to perform in every single way as a woman, a man, they're probably going to think you're an asshole and probably like 80% what, of the population. What if you called them male? Would that mm. be... It would be really weird interpersonally to like go up to somebody and be like, hello, male, or like in any way. Like <laughs> most people would again cringe because yeah. the they know what you're doing. They know that you're aesthetically trying to appeal to a political movement. So you're allowed to have any political field. You're allowed to be an asshole to people. You're allowed to politically in um, kind of rejection not use people's pronouns. I actually don't believe that this is required at all. The issue is people are also allowed to be like, hey, you're kind of being an asshole. Mouth that way just a ten. Yeah. yeah. So then so then where where do we go then when we're inside <laughs> society and you have a Christian owned business who says, No, we're not gonna give you or make suitable accommodations for your bathroom arrangements, whereas instead you can use this bathroom or this bathroom like everybody else has always done. Yep. Right? I love capitalism. Yeah, I so, hope your business suffers as a result and mm -hmm. if it doesn't that's great so but I think, no, nothing compelled there no i'm not really big on compelled stuff okay so yeah i think if i could I, I so this like is just a semantic right. distinction then i would say almost wholly it is excluding things like medical care right this is why i'm not pro self-id go ahead Can i just throw something in there if you travel to any other country and this is like my vote for the u.s doing this i think it would solve a lot of issues but a lot of people a lot of people would agree with me go to other countries Bathrooms are universal, and the sink is where yeah. everyone uses it. I love it. European bathrooms. Solves all problems. I agree with you. The fact base. that we have to worry about men and women's bathrooms, make it universal. Sink is in the in the front where everyone. Well, you know it. something Solve I have seen. I have seen that, that I object to as a man. Oftentimes, when there used to be a woman's bathroom and a man's bathroom, what they end up doing is they'll switch the man's bathroom to an all-gender bathroom, but keep the woman's bathroom a woman's bathroom. So y'all are <laughs> encroaching on the male bathrooms, the men bathroom. I'm very upset. Y'all pee very, fast, I'm, though. I'm, you're, you're I'm upset out. about it. Yeah, you guys never have bathroom lines. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Just to be clear, any inconsistent application of things, I'll just side with you. Yeah, we shouldn't do those things, obviously. It's basically benevolent sexism. It's kind of weird. It's like, so when you get into the medical arena here, sure. let's dive into this. Okay. So what? So you're saying definitely and in society you don't care, right? It doesn't matter if my viewpoint is this way. You're not going to try to make anything which compels me to do anything opposite of that. You don't believe probably I should be deplatformed, for instance, about speaking out against stuff like that. Probably not. But okay. if you incite hate speech or violence against yeah, yeah, them, yeah, that's yeah, I get it. Yes. I think that's a yeah, distinction. Yeah. But moving into this, on the medical field, what's the what, what are the things you want to see that... What are the things you're wanting to see there? Kind yeah, of like? so the things that I would like to see are, for example, no self-ID right and a pretty rigorous uh, process by which we like determine these things. I think, I haven't got into any of the neuroscience stuff uh, when it comes to definitions, because it's really important to understand how definitions function, but uh, AI has done like crazy stuff for leaping us forward and as far as neuroscience. I believe you're born trans. I don't believe that this is like a choice or anything like that. And I think if you're choosing to be it, you're doing it for political reasons, popularity reasons, or something probably mental illness specifically related, right? It seems to me the case that- Okay, can we back up just, sure. just briefly so yep. we don't move into yep, too many good. things. You say that you think people are born trans. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm, I'm Why? so questioning that. Uh, I would say we have a really strong literature showing like the historicity of some sort of trans issues going back hundreds of years. There's absolutely been these things. This is part of what auto That's not good out. evidence for you being born trans, though. Uh, another thing would be things like factors. heritability, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a high level of like genetic comorbid factors that are associated with being trans. There seems to be some level of predictability with estrogen levels. Um, is it born as far as like epigenetic versus just genetic? It's probably more in the epigenetic direction. Another really big marker that it's 
probably born in. So you're talking about environmental factors impacting this in a great way as well. No, epigenetic factors is not environmental factors. No, 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 no. that's not what I asked. Okay. I asked if you're talking about environmental factors affecting this as well, or if you think it's mostly just a genetic thing. I mean, anything mental health is going to be complicated. Probably both of these things are playing in, but probably when it comes to trans, more you need to have like a genetic. It's like a pre-requirement, maybe is the best way to say it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're I'm pre-required about, to have the genes. So for I, it. let me let me clarify. So I'm not talking about the alcoholic who they have a predisposition towards alcohol, but absent the alcohol, they never become an alcoholic. What I'm asking for here is if you think that that particular circumstance of the movement towards the thing yeah. is the genetic disposition, or if there's a different genetic disposition where they're actually born with this disposition <laughs> to want to move into another body or whatever the mental <laughs> illness is. Based on the earliness of where dysphoria seems to emerge, I suspect that it's gonna be like probably still epigenetic to some degree, but I'm gonna be clear, the literature is still out on this one, on just to be clear, every single thing to do with the brain. So it's a really hard question to answer. You mean like the trans brain scans and all that? Yeah, sure, the trans brain scans where it's like, are they the same as women's brains? And it's Mm -hmm. like some research said yeah, some said no. Right, this is a really unsolved problem, but it does seem highly genetic starting at three any sort of like mental thing that begins that early is very suspicious for high levels of genetic involvement. So then how come when you see this, when you see this movement, then in other cultures, you see it in distinctly different ways. If you're pre-programmed, for instance, in the West um, to be a male who's born and wants to be a woman, wants to be a female, why is it that you respond in a distinctly different way than you would in a different culture? In other words, why is it that if you're born Scottish, you don't want to get in a kilt? Right. This is the this is the question. Why do you think that the kilt is in any ways comparable to like uh, gender identity? Because of presentation, which is what you said, is do the mark that- of gender an ID is presentation. So why is it that they always want to present like a Western filled up girl who looks like kind of a skank on Instagram versus what a woman would look like in Saudi Arabia? Wait. For so do you think trans people just don't exist outside of Western countries? That's is not that what I He's asked. saying that it's like an aesthetic that they put on. Are do you are you telling me that you honestly believe that wearing a kilt is similar to becoming trans? Well, what I'm saying is that is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is that if it's aesthetics that we're looking at, and that's what you claim gender actually is, is an aesthetic presentation towards a thing. I didn't say transgenderism. Well, ideal is that thing I said the way that I define gender is performance these are not the yeah same but thing. performance is what isn't that the aesthetic well no the performance is in large part aesthetic but you're now yeah. asking me about ideology we yeah so what I'm so that's what this is what I'm asking you what is, is like ideology? how do you know how do you know that the way that these are presented mm-hmm. right in the West if you were put in a different environment, a different country. Would they become fafafini like the Samoans? Yeah. yeah, that's a valid question, but it's not similar to a kilt. And I don't think that these things are analogous in any way. And we can't pretend like they are. The, <coughs> the actual thing about fafafine shows, probably the way that they um, express societally is pretty open up to society. But the fafafine are a third gender. Yeah, that's so how that ought to put, well, well, so I mean, just that alone, just that statement that the environment's gonna greatly impact whether or not you even present no, with the opposition no, to gender? that's not what it, I've said. It, okay, well then why don't you rephrase it? Okay, let's go back. What is etiology? Well, who cares? Go back to my question. What is etiology? No, wait, hang on. You're moving back too far. No. The previous statement that you just made was what? The previous statement that I said was that the fafa fine express socially in a different no, way than the way that No, before that, you said don't. that depending on where you're at in the world, right, you may not even present with this type of gender. That is so not what I said. It is what you I said. I said that they present as a third gender, but the dysphoria rates are very <coughs> similar. When you rate them on things like dysphoria of body, it rates very similar to Western trans women and trans men. They are in absolutely this one similar culture. groups. In the one culture. Yeah, in this one culture. But that, Wait, but why this would you moves, dismiss but this, this over moves one back, culture? But this moves back to the question of like, how do you know that if they're born Great. in... Great. That's a good in question. The, yes. What's etiology? Okay. Not so erudite. You're being completely obtuse. I'm not being you obtuse. You are being obtuse. You, Go ahead and explain on. it. Let explain me, it so that Let you feel better about yourself. Let me explain why I'm asking you this. Just to be... Go ahead. Nice. The Go reason ahead. I'm asking you this is because mm-hmm. you moved from talking about gender and performance, which mm-hmm. is a definitional argument, to then conflating it with an ideological argument. Okay. These are not the same. Explain it so you feel about. better, and then we can move on. 
I'm not going to explain it until I feel better. I'm going to explain it until we're on the same page okay. because we can't have a good conversation if you're shifting between then the lenses of how we're analyzing it. things. Okay. So what is the difference between a performance and an etiology? Don't ask me questions. Explain I'm it. I'm asking you that Don't question. ask me questions. Explain it. I don't want to explain it. I want you don't to want to explain it. You just want to ask questions. Well, you said, I need Andrew. to explain this concept to you so that you understand it. I say explain I it. You ask me questions. I think you're smart. Ex just hold on. Explain I've it. I've explained it three times. I'll explain it again. You're very smart. Explain it again. I don't think you're participating in the conversation. I'm literally asking you to explain it to me. Okay, etiology is how something comes about. That's when you were asking me about things okay. like epigenetics and nature versus okay. nurture questions. The other thing, presentation performance, is a semantic definitional conversation. We can have both of these, but when you act like they're the same conversation, yeah. it's just money. So how do they get... Modest Hikima donated $200. How many genders are there? Do we need list of five on our legal forms? Oh. Five. <laughs> five... It quadrillion it That's crazy. It got, yeah, okay. TTS uh, did you dirty. So, T, yeah, TTS did you dirty. Does anybody know what that number is, by the way? Anyone care to wager? There could be, maybe? There could be infinity. More than that. Gazillion. There, there could yeah. be as many 50, as you want. They're socially constructed. You just make them up. Trillion. I disagree with that because Zillion. I don't believe in self-ID. <laughs> <Yeah>. Light years. <laughs> as long as you don't believe in self-ID, these things are concretable and you can manage them. I don't believe in self-ID. I don't think there's cat gender. I don't think that there's like things like Zazers. I think non-binaryism is usually people between transition of becoming trans or it's a political statement, typically. I think that, for example, cat gender, it's just dumb. I'm not really interested in it at all. What it about dragonkin? What is that? Huh? Dragonkin? Do you have any thoughts on I mean, dragonkin? Dragons are so cool, right? No, of course okay. not. Yeah, in a serious way, no, of course okay, not. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so when you're, anyway, when you're moving back into gender, sure. okay, when you're talking about definitions, uh, this, exp no, not the definition. Or the etiology. But yeah, now we're talking about the etiology. Great. So if we're going to move into this, how it comes to be. Okay, would you say that of same, the same person, we took the same genetics and they were born in like, I don't know, Zimbabwe, right? Mm -hmm. That there's a good distinct possibility that just due to the environment, they may never actually present in this way at all. I think that there's a decent chance in like Zimbabwe, I think Zimbabwe is highly conservative and maybe Islamic, mm -hmm. I could be wrong. They're probably not going to present in any way because they'd probably get killed and they're probably gonna have high levels of mental health conditions. Yeah, but you result. don't know that that wouldn't be the reason. I'm saying that if they weren't, if they weren't going to you know, uh, instantly destroy them, you think that they would come out trying to present as a Western woman or would they try to present as a female in their in culture? In Zimbabwe, why would they ever come out as presenting like a well, Western woman? The, well, so this is the question moving backwards <laughs> that I, I already asked question? you before, which is if they're coming out, why is it that they only want to present in the way that they see the Western cultural because women society present? society determines the way that we express mental health all the time. For example, have you ever heard of, um, I forget the term of it, it was a disease that went across Japan where men believed genuinely that their dicks were being swallowed by their body. Have you heard of this mental health Sounds condition? Sounds like a good no. time. Did you want to come in, by the way? Someone it sounded Google like you wanted one. to come in. Someone Google that one. I feel like it's just kind of a odd question because it's like it's the same thing with like being gay like before how many artists spent every day with someone of the same gender and then goes down in history as their best friend obviously they didn't come out as gay because the, like the culture they lived in didn't really accept it let's, as much let's stick go ahead yeah, so if, if somebody has a mental health condition or something that is predilecting them towards a direction, their society is going to have implication in how that looks and expresses. This is why transgender people with very similar markers to Western transgender people are fafa fine in the Samoan culture. In the Zimbabwe culture, they're probably really depressed men and women, is my guess, right? With high suicide rates at about, oh, sorry, uh, high, bad word. Uh, Deletion. <laughs> Deletion. <laughs> Deletion. <laughs> yeah. um, Andrew, before you respond, Two more minutes on this. We can come back to it later. I'd like to take a little intermission, interlude, so we can maybe ask some other questions. But we can certainly come back to it. But sure. if you guys each want to make like a so one minute. I'll finish by saying this. Schizophrenia is a very established, highly genetic mental health condition. It is epigenetic in nature. It typically gets triggered around 21. And you must have a genetic marker for it, or you'll never have it. And you have to have like two to three like major episodes of depression. The issue is that the way schizophrenia presents in Western North America isn't the same. Hallucinations are often very different. The way that they manage the society is very different. The way that schizophrenia emerges across societies is varied by the society that they live in, even though schizophrenia itself is a legitimate condition. Okay, and I'll finish with this. <laughs> this has not manifested itself in society spontaneously and by any metric at all. It's been a political activism by LGBTQ groups who are trying to push this forward, who fund the studies into these, um, they, they fund the sociological studies. I mean, Some almost of all of them. They're funded mm -hmm. by 
LGBTQ groups themselves who give these grants to colleges, they give them to schools, they give them to all sorts of different people to do these studies. Yeah. And so what we end up with is results we can't even trust inside of a field where the replication is so bad that in some cases it can only be replicated up to 29%. So I have a hard time believing that's considering this is only something that even in my own lifetime has come to the forefront, that this is not agenda-based or that people actually have any concerns whatsoever outside of this now political phenomenon as to what a woman or man ever sure. was. I don't think that they ever cared. The we issue, never did. You never did. None. Nobody ever did. The issue is it can always be both. That's the problem. It's not like autism spontaneously emerged in the 40s when we made the diagnosis. It always existed. We just didn't have a categorical name for it. <coughs> These are not the same things. Is there an agenda going on? Are people really trying to push it? Yes. Is it weird that LGBTQ communities are funding it? No. Most alcoholism groups fund studies for alcohol. Most like depression studies are funded by like some sort of really thing. But there is a bias that exists. The literature on like specifically transgenderism is the worst because there's actually two biased groups. There's the like very pro LGBTQ that is like super sussy with their stats, and then there's the very anti LGBTQ that is also sussy with their stats, and it is a nightmare trying to manage it. There's a couple of groups that are in between that are doing a fantastic job, but most of Dad is coming out in like 2024. I haven't seen quick, very quick many of those. Yeah, I haven't seen very many of those anti-LGBTQ groups There's inside lots. of sociology. That's for sure, especially in comparison to the other groups which are pro-LGBTQ. But that yeah. that aside, letting that be inside of society again. You see, as our mental health professionals have increased inside of society, you have seen a huge amount of mental health. Yes. also increase, especially among women. Women enter into those fields, suddenly they're giving descriptors for mental health crises for women all over the place. Everybody's on some kind of antidepressant, some type of pill, they're on some kind of something that they've been diagnosed with. So it's possible that pharmaceutical companies also take advantage of this. I would assume that they do. I would also assume that inside of the psychological fields with so many women want to get into, mm -hmm. that seems to have, there's, there's something that they're drawn to, that they're attracted to, but you can also see the amount of mental illness of women in society is through the roof. So sure. I almost wondering if women are chasing their own tail. Yeah, 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 sure. Well, I would ask sorry. you. Sorry. Okay. We're going to take a <laughs> intermission from that conversation. We will return to it, though. Okay. So if you have any notes, we can certainly, or any further things to, to add, we can certainly get back to it. 